a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Outlook. I am Julianne Marston Clark and the topic of today's lesson is the son of the widow of Nain. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are thankful that once more we are able to share your words. As we do so, we ask that you open our hearts to receive the messages we pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our scripture passage of focus today is Luke 7 from verse 11 through 17. Now the Bible says Jesus went everywhere doing good for people. He healed the sick. He healed persons who were controlled by the devil, showing that God was with him. The Bible is filled with stories about how Jesus helped persons who were hurting, persons who were in need, and later many persons came to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior because of all the good things that he did. Jesus visited many villages. He healed all the people who were sick. Jesus' healing work was proof that God chose him as our Savior. He did everything with love and mercy. He cared for people. He had a heart of love. He wanted to serve people and to take care of their needs. So he became as the people that he served. People that nobody cared for. People that were poor were not afraid to come to Jesus. Even the little children wanted to be near Jesus. We read about the resurrection when we looked at Luke 7, 11 to 17. We know that the resurrection really is a time when a person will wake up from the dead. We also looked yesterday at the resurrection. And the question is, how is it different what we're looking at today from what was looked at yesterday? Now, Jesus healed the sick and he cast out demons from persons. When Jesus and his followers approached the city of Nain, they saw a crowd on their way to a funeral. Some of the people in the crowd, they carried a dead body in a coffin. The coffin was open. The only son of a widow lay inside that coffin. The widow cried very, very hard, and Jesus felt so very sorry for her. He said to her, that's the woman, don't cry. Then Jesus walked to the open coffin and he touched it. The men who were carrying that coffin, they stopped. And Jesus spoke to the dead. He said, young man, I tell you, get up. The whole story changed because Jesus was there. Many people who saw that miracle, they knew that someone was special among them. So the people said that Jesus was a great, powerful man. They believed that God sent Jesus to show that he cared for the people very much. But the widow of the Ripet and the Shunammite woman asked for help from God's servants. But the widow of Nain, she got help without even asking for it. God cares for us. Even when we don't feel we are worthy enough to ask him for help. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, one more time, we are thankful that your words have gone forth. We are happy that you are a God who loves and cares for us. Even when we don't feel like we can approach you because of our sinful nature. We just ask, Father, that you continue to help us to study your words, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Alpha. We look forward to sharing another episode with you tomorrow. Until then, God bless you. A 
lesson for all daily at 6 a.m.